the anti-PD-L1 agent we have, 4736, is very active in a wide range of cancers. In the phase one, two study, eight tumor types were reported at ESMO this week. There's an additional eight cancer types that are under development as well, but we haven't reported it this week. In the first eight tumors, which includes uh, gastric cancer, HCC, non-small cell lung cancer, uh, and a variety of others, the, objective, the overall objective response rate uh, was 11%. And within the subset of patients who are PD-L1 positive, the overall response rate in the, all the tumors uh, was 22%. To date, we have enrolled 500 patients in that study, so the sample size is quite large. The other hot stuff is the combination of the PD-L1 molecule with tremulimumab. There's good reason to believe, based upon preclinical data and also some clinical data uh, with uh, other molecules like this one, that when you put them together, uh, they may work better than each individual component by itself. So we presented an update on uh, the experiments, the clinical studies that are being done with that combination, and it looks very promising, very encouraging. Uh, in non-small cell lung cancer patients, the overall objective response rate in pd one negative patients was 30% in a small sample size. The monotherapy pd one positive patients have a response rate of 10% with the monotherapy. So the likelihood that we're going to see some benefit from the combo continues to rise. The disease control rate with that combination, those are patients who either stabilize or have objective response is 70% with the combination and 42% with the monotherapy. So we're making great headway. Good medicines as monotherapy, potentially great medicines in combination.